Hey, Mike here, Factor 55. Hey, today we're gonna to be testing a couple new products. These products are a version of our Hitchlink. Uh, they're the Hitchlink Pros. They're gonna come in a two and a 2.5 inch size for the two different types of receivers. Uh, what makes these products unique is obviously you can see the large corner radius for soft shackles. These are very friendly for soft shackles. But what makes them unique is if you look closely there's actually a flat that's still machined in the middle. Now, what's that for? That's so that the shackle pin is not riding on a point contact, and the shackle pin is actually going to be able to ride on a nice, smooth, flat area. So that's kind of cool about this product, the, the Hitchlink Pro 2.0 and 2.5. Uh, what we have here is a fixture that's required to be able to pull test this, both for material yield and ultimate braking strength. Uh, you'll see that it's a little bit of a funky fixture here, but this is what's necessary to get this to fit into this apparatus here. So uh, this is a hydraulic ram. If you come back and look, you can see that there's a hydraulic ram here. The hydraulic ram ultimately will pull test this product uh, by measuring the pressure of the hydraulic fluid and knowing the diameter of the piston in that ram, you can determine what the braking strength is. If you look all the way down this test bed, you can test all kinds of harnesses, multiple feet long, 20, 30 footers. Uh, but uh, what we'll do is we're gonna do some proof load testing, some yield testing, ultimate braking testing, and then we'll get back to you on that. So we're gonna, we just did a 20,000 pound proof load test on this. We measured the before diameter of the shackle pin hole. Now we're gonna measure after to see if there was any yield. Point nine two two five. We measured point nine two three before we did the pull. So at twenty thousand pounds of proof load. Uh, there was no mo material movement or yield. Hey, Mike. On your way back, can you go that way? I will. Thank you. So here you see it's a 0.938, so about 15 thousandth of an inch uh, in material yield. It's very little actually. So at 30,000 pounds, we saw almost no permanent material movement. So that's great. 
I think the next test what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an ultimate failure test. Picture of the bent bolt. Grade eight. completed a couple of destructive tests on the new Hitchlink Pro 2.0. Uh, the third test we're gonna run here is on a powder-coated version of the same product. Now some of you may say, hey, uh, that was raised to 400 degrees Fahrenheit to melt the powder during the powder coating process. Perhaps you annealed the aluminum and changed the ultimate breaking strength. Well, let's find out. So here we go, this is uh, the aftermath of the destructive test. It was within a thousand pounds of the 
uh, raw units. Uh, it, it really, in the big picture of things, is kind of in the noise of the testing. It made almost no difference the fact that this was powder coated as opposed to a raw unit.